Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, I called the powder coating place, and uh, they're a week out. Um, drop off anytime. So I figure I'm gonna drop them off today. Got them wrapped. Got them in the truck. So when I get back, or when I get them back, I'm gonna dr I'll drill these sensors out while the bumper's on the truck. Um, I'll just take measurements of it right now where they're at I'll write them down and then uh, I'll drill them out when it's on the truck because I think it'll be a lot easier to get the straight line across I know it's hard to see but if I can get a straight line across with a level and do all that but anyway I took the one dent out with just a little nylon mallet just on the back side um, came out really easy I hit it about three times and the dent was out so, um, yeah, I'm going to eat some lunch or breakfast, whatever you want to call it. Take those into, they're about 45 minutes away, so I'm going to take them down there before traffic starts to get bad down towards that way. And uh, let them do their thing, try to color match it as best they can. I'm sure they can. I'm sure they got that color on file. So, and then... Uh, Go from there and I don't know if I mentioned before in the, in the video or not but the reason I bought new bumpers is because this bumpers dented from previous owner I'm assuming trailer so this bumpers all dented so and I didn't want to try to fix this bumper or pull it out maybe I'll try to fix her to pull it out if I go to sell it and then the front bumper there's nothing wrong with the front bumper. Um, there's no dents or dings or nothing in it. So what I'll do with this bumper is I'll just try to sell it. And uh, yeah, I didn't want any lights. I like the look of it without the lights. I don't like the openings. Um, this gives it more of a flush look. But uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, when you see those bumpers, they'll probably be white. Hopefully they'll be white. Hopefully the company doesn't sell them from underneath me or some kind of shady stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that's the plan for the rest of the day. Take those in. I did the swamp cooler this morning or a little bit ago. It's running really, really good, real quiet. I do want to change that other bearing, bushing, whatever you want to call it. They call it a bellow. Uh, show you real quick. It's a one inch bearing, ball, and cushion. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, so, hold on real quick. Sorry about that, my warranty on this, uh, 64, 63, whatever this is, Chevy C10 is about to expire. They had to call me to tell me that it's a warranty on it's about to expire. Anyway, don't you guys hate those calls? So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I don't know what I was doing. I dropped something. But, uh, yeah, so that's the bearing is called a bellow. One inch bearing ball and cushion. Um... Plus the bellow, I guess. The bellow is the little rubber mat, the little insulator. So, But, alright guys. And, uh, oh, that's the motor. 115 volt. 3 quarter horsepower. 2. La 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 la. Hold on. Let's go, to, let's go to America right here. 115 volt. 3 quarter horsepower. 2 speed. Uses 3 and 3 quarter inch adjustable. 3 inch fixed. Blah, 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 blah. Cooler motor. So anyway, that's the motor I put in. Um, Alright, so that's going to be the video. I'm tired. It's already hot out here. Um, so, alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe up here. Click this over here and subscribe. Or go down below and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for videos. Um, check out my boy One and Glenn over here. Little thingy over here, little circle. And then uh, check out my previous video over here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.